Ah. It's just like top of the morning, you know, you wake up and you just absolutely blast your body with vitamins. That's how you stay healthy. I just wanna run. Body of the young. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video and happy Sunday. So, I've been getting a lot of requests for me to do a full day of eating on my bulk, right? So a lot of you guys want me to see what I eat on a day, how I'm growing. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to get straight into it. So yeah, I'm on plan to compete in July, July 15th in summer shredding. So right now, I'm on my building phase, right? I got to build the muscle before we start the cut, right? So Coach Adrian put me on a meal plan. Um, so I'm going to run you guys through what I kind of eat in, on a daily basis, kind of everything in that I put in my body to, you know, get fucking huge. Yeah. So right now, where's my phone? I'm eating about around 3000 calories. I started off at like 2200 on my reverse. And so I'm about seven weeks into this bulk. And so now I'm finally to like 3000 calories. My weight's finally gone from 192 to I'm at 205 this morning. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty bulked, right? But as you know, I, if you guys watched YoCast, you heard me, uh, me, Ogle, and Stan talk about the bulk, how we really want to commit to this bulk. And so, you know, that's just a part, right? You got to feel big, you got to eat a lot, just you got to grow. But yeah, so it's about 10 a.m. right now. And the first thing I do when I wake up every single morning is I have Coach Adrian's cocktail, right? So it's one ounce of apple cider vinegar, one scoop of multi-fiber, one scoop of reds, two ounces of lemon concentrate, and two scoops of OptiGreens, right? So I already put it in the shaker for you guys. It doesn't taste the best, but it's supposed to be fucking healthy for you. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what it, what it kind of looks like. Look, look at this shit. All right, We're getting healthy, by <laughs> It's healthy, right? I'll give you guys a little taste test. You know, it's not that bad. Maybe it's a required taste, like beer, wine, or Latinas. We have our sup that we take every morning, which I got. I pulled out for you guys right here. So I'll go through kind of what I take on a daily basis. Dandelion root, D3, uh, multivitamin, just standard multivitamin, B complex, probiotic, vitamin C, and then in a full omega. I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, I, that, that's it that you guys know of. You got your fucking shake with all this goddamn stuff in it, your whole palm full of vitamins. We just cut it, alright? We're healthy. I feel healthier already. After that, the first thing of my actual meal that I eat every single day is going to be 250 grams of egg whites um, and three whole eggs, right? Hmm, look pretty good. Egg whites in the pan, bottoms up. So, while we wait for that to cook, right, this is what I usually do, and uh, it's not like what you typically would do, but it's, I know it's kind of weird, but whatever. I, <laughs> I'll actually just sit here, because I like strawberries, right? Love strawberries, so, what I'll actually do, is while my eggs are cooking, I'll actually just... Eat this bowl of stra frozen strawberries. So, I know it's kind of weird, but I, I think it tastes good. It tastes like little strawberry bites. So, yeah, while I wait for that to cook, another thing we have to do to, in the morning to get ready for today is you gotta get our rice ready. Right? So, I eat about 750 goddamn grams of rice a day. Right? So, every single morning, what I do is like, Fill this thing up and get it ready for the day. All right, guys, so this is meal one right here with the condiments of choice. Melinda's black, black truffle sauce. This is like the best zero calorie hot sauce you can absolutely get. Um, ground pepper and then a few cranks of pink Himalayan salt, right? 
So yeah, this is meal one. Got your strawberries right here. And uh, I'll put the macros up on the screen. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and grub on this real quick. Um, we got I got a lot to get done today. I actually got to go to the DMV, get my car registered. Probably should have done that about a month ago. Hope I don't um, get pulled over and get absolutely screwed by the state of Texas. But yeah, I need to get that done today. So I'm gonna go ahead and grub on this, and then I'll catch you guys back for meal two. Yo, I almost forgot the most important part of my day. Let's say, say what's up, Dre. Mm, what up, boys? What up, boys? So. Forgot the motherfucking coffee. Because we gotta get the caffeine in. I'm going to sip on this coffee while I get ready. Usually I just do black coffee, tin stevia, and then some uh, almond milk creamer. Not really tin stevia, but um, I do put a little bit of stevia in my coffee. But it's like a little morning latte, you know, white girl style. If you want to, you can put a little cinnamon in it, but. That's my morning coffee every morning. Gotta have the morning coffee. Can't. Do not miss the morning coffee. All right, guys. Head to the DMV. So, a little bit nervous, right? Because I looked online, the nearest DMV, and the nearest one had like two stars, and everybody's complaining about how bad the workers are. <clears throat> but I mean, I guess in general, like, if I worked at a DMV, I'd probably hate my life as well. Yo guys, what is up? We are back at the apartment. We got all the DMV stuff taken care of. But we are back with meal number two. Five ounces of chicken breast, 200 grams of jasmine rice, and 20 grams of olive oil, right? So that comes out to about 614 calories, right? So this is what it looks like. So my favorite meal is chicken and rice, so to get my fats in for the day, I put about 10 grams of organic extra virgin olive oil. This is actually one of my favorite meals of the day. Um, I actually have this back to back, so I have the exact same meal for meal two and for meal three. I split them up personally just because I like to eat throughout the day. I like to eat small meals and digest my meals about two hours apart. Um, and also, um, it, it regulates hunger as well. So that means I'm eating further out to the day, two hours apart, smaller meals, um, just to kind of get all those meals in, right? Sauce of choice, every time, Melinda's. And then for every single meal of my day, I have about two cranks of pink Himalayan salt, besides my pre-workout meal, which my pre-workout meal is I do like a hundred cranks of pink Himalayan salt because you know, gotta get that fat pump. All right, meal number two, All right? I forgot to mention that this is, it's probably around 12 o'clock right now. And um, another really, really important thing about my meal plan is water. I try to drink about at least a gallon, a gallon and a half of water per day. Water is extremely important, guys. Don't miss your water, right? So, eight water bottles is about a gallon, right? So on top of what I drink out of my shaker cup, I usually try to aim for about eight water bottles a day. Easiest way to get my water in, I know I could probably get a lot more water in by just, or get the same amount of water from just filling in my shaker cup more times, but I'm, you know, whatever. I, I like water bottles, it's easier to drink. I cook my chicken in the air fryer. What I do is um, about about the three pound pack of chicken and I just cut them up into little pieces. I don't know if you can tell. Like this. Little chicken bites, throw in the air fryer um, and then I put it in a Pyrex bowl and it usually lasts me about a day or two. Um, that's just the easiest way to meal prep guys because the most important thing about your meal prep is gonna be you know, saying, making it as easy as possible, so you can just, I just walk in, my rice is cooked for the day, my chicken's in the fridge, take it out, heat it up, and you're ready to go, All right? So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Oh, yo, what is up guys, we are back with 
meal number three. So like I said before about meal number two, meal number three is the exact same thing as meal number two. It's five ounces of chicken, 200 grams of white rice, and then 10 grams of olive oil. All right, a couple cranks of pink salt, and then some Melinda's hot sauce, right? So this is like, this is my meal number three, is the exact same as meal number two. I love this meal personally. I could eat this meal every single second of the day, but my meal plan is directly tailored to what I need, what I think I can be consistent at. And so when you're making your meal plan, make sure that you make it something you can say is consistent with. You don't have to eat the same meal every single day. Just kind of watch your macros. But for me, this is a consistent meal. I can get this in and get this out and um, I can hit a very good set of macros as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat the crap out of this meal and then I gotta go take care of some work. But my next meal will actually be my pre-workout meal, which is one of my favorite meals of the day. So I'll catch you back for the pre-workout meal and then I'll catch you at the gym. Yo, what is up guys? We are back with meal number four. Freaking pre-workout meal. So I actually got the pre-workout meal cooking in the microwave right now is cream of rice. So 65 grams of cream of rice. You gotta wash this sucker because you can't miss it and over, may let it overflow, right? So how you know your cream of rice is perfect? And I got, I filmed this about perfect. When it starts rising, so I put it about for two minutes and 30 seconds. When the cream of rice starts rising, you gotta take it out. And then let's see what kind of protein y'all feel on today. I think I'm gonna go with the nutter butter. All right? So 65 grams of cream of rice, one scoop of peanut, uh, protein of choice, sorry, protein of choice, and then some pink Himalayan salt and some cinnamon, right? So this is the pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. Boom! Yeah, there you go. So, 65 grams of cream of rice, one scoop of peanut butter, and a whole crap ton of pink Himalayan salt for an incredible pump. Um, I'll go ahead and throw the macros up on the screen right here. I'm not really sure what the macros are, but they'll be on the screen right here. Obviously, we're gonna have some Pre-workout, right? So my pre-workout stack, one scoop of Astro Amino, one scoop of the Forbidden Pre, if you can see that, and then one scoop of Ignition. So Ignition has, I think, yep, 42 grams of carbs in it as well. Most of my carbs are gonna be consumed right before my workout. I'm about to go hit back right now. Um, so bang the pre-workout meal, drink the pre-workout, head to the gym, destroy back, get incredible lats, you know, drive the girls nuts, all that good stuff, right? Let me know in the comments, guys, if you like me doing these full days of eating. Uh, my meal plan is going to constantly be changing depending on how my body looks and, you know, how I feel week by week. But these full days of eating are, you know, kind of a little bit slow, maybe a little bit boring, but they're also very informative. So if you guys really do like to um, know what my typical meal plan looks like, um, then I'll more than happy to do more of these full days of eating for you. Um, right now, our this is meal number four, and then we have meal number five and six after the gym, which that's gonna be my probably my biggest meal of the day, just because I like to keep my biggest meal of the day right after my workout, just because you know it fills me up, and I also don't like working out super full either. So yeah, this is actually really really hot right now though. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty pretty freaking good. Yo, what is up, guys? We are on our way to the gym. So meal two, three, and four, usually I have to eat pretty quick because I'm on the run or I'm on the go, but work is done, you know, day is over. Time to hit the gym, time to get a sick pump, time to get freaking huge. Yo, we're here, it's pretty freaking packed house today. Yeah, so 
we just pulled up to the gym ski but I'm about to go in and absolutely destroy some back and um, I know some of you guys are wanting to see my back day but early surprise that's going to be actually next week's video so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and annihilate this back day I'm actually just itching right now ants crawling and whatnot so yeah I'll catch you guys right after the gym yo just got done with the freaking back workout it was absolutely amazing I, I can feel like a house right now I feel so heavy 205 big boy coming through but yeah I just got done with the lift at the land I'm gonna head back and eat that post workout meal I'm starving so it's gonna absolutely slap Yo, what's up guys? We're back at the apartment, post lift. Can't tell, got a little bigger today. Um, so, for post lift, we have, usually I do two separate meals, but uh, it is pretty late, what time is it? So it's like 10 at night. So I just went ahead and threw both meals together so I could get them knocked in. So we got 350 grams of rice, five ounces of ground turkey, six ounces of uh, salmon, and then some veggies on top, right? So this is gonna be the post-workout meal. Like I said, I like my post-workout meal super fat because it's super filling, and I just hit the gym super hard, so that's what I usually do post-workout. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see, this, see what this looks like. Just a absolute huge pile of meat and rice. So yeah, I'll put the macros up on the screen for this meal right here. And I'm gonna absolutely destroy this. You know, refill the glycogen storage, get huge, get fucking big as fuck. But yeah, so that's gonna be the end of you know my full day of eating. That's what I eat in a full day. Um, basically, we, it goes week by week, right? We, every week is going to be a little bit something different just based upon how I look and how I feel, all my training and whatnot. But um, I'll, I'll continue to update you guys a little bit just based upon, you know, what, when my meals are changing, what they look like. But yeah, I'm going to put the macros for the full day up on the screen right here. So I, I don't know what it is exactly. It's 300, 300 calories. Um, around 60 grams of fat, 258 protein, and like 336 carbs. So that's usually what I do on my normal days. I do have higher days on my chest days because you know we're trying to bring out our shoulders and our chest. But this is just what a typical day looks like, what I eat probably five out of seven days of the week. But yeah, dude, thank you guys for tagging along and watching my full day of eating. Had a lot of fun videoing it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe down low. Comment, thank you, Elliot, for editing the video. But yeah, I'll see you guys next Sunday. I just wanna rock. Body out of y'all.